Hello, this is Sandra Osterberis bringing you a few words of Bible from the heart of Biblical Israel. This week's Torah portion is Ha'azinu, and most of the Torah portion is dedicated to the Song of Moses, a very, very long poem, chapter 32 in Deuteronomy, uh, in which Moses basically, uh, you know, throughout the book of Deuteronomy, Moses has been speaking to the nation in a series of speeches, all in prose. Uh, some of them are more dedicated to repeating the history or the highlights of the history of the nation. Um, there are a great many commandments that Moses uh, either repeats or uh, teaches to the nation uh, for the first time. The overall focus of the book, though, is all kinds of teachings and warnings and um, uh, types of inspiration to the nation, preparing them for the various challenges that they will face when they enter the land. Uh, in this final song, Moses kinds of uh, as a poem, it, it is actually quite long, but as a summary of everything that has gone before, it is really quite concise uh, in that he actually begins with a historic overview of the world of the nation, of who is God, then sets forward this pattern that he has already discussed previously, the pattern of the nation receiving the land um, uh, enjoying all the blessings and then in a process of decadence and uh, deterioration, moral deterioration, gradually abandoning God, sinning, uh, turning away from God uh, and the punishment that will follow. Uh, finally, the, the return of the nation um, and the punishment that God will mete out to those nations who indeed have punished Israel. Um, the a sense of miracle, a sense of destiny of the nation, of course, is also very much present. Uh, and um, at the very end, of course, we have um, a, a verse of triumph. Um, Make all your nations his people exalt, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render the vengeance to his adversaries and make expiation for his ground and his people. There will be a return uh, of the nation uh, to the land and those who try to uh, harm the nation or who did harm the nation will be uh, punished. So that's more or less what we have in this week's Torah portion. But I would like to just focus on uh, a few verses towards the beginning, which I think are actually very, very fundamental. Okay, and these are verses 7, uh, 8, and 9. And I, and I will just read them briefly in English. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father and he will tell you. Your elders and they will say to you, when the supreme divided, or the most high, the, when God divided the nations to the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of man, he set the boundaries of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the portion of, the, of, of God is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So first of all, we start out with um, a verse that talks about the importance of remembering history. Uh, remember the days of old. Um, and we also have here, uh, ask your father and he will tell you your old people and they will tell you. So you, we have a multi-generational situation here. We have the elders, we have the fathers, and we have the children. We have a responsibility of every generation to continue passing on the story of God and who God is, not just God as, a, as, the, as the creator of the universe or God who uh, can make miracles, but the God who uh, selected the nation, God who um, put forward destinies or put forward goals or, or special uh, roles for the nation of Israel. Um, and this message, which God first gave to our forefathers, our forefathers passed on down through the generations. And this, therefore, puts an obligation. And, it, from, and be, I believe that this is one of a number of verses throughout the Bible that become um, almost part of the Jewish DNA. Uh, it is not enough for us to say we are Jewish, we have a different religion. We believed we have a separate destiny that has been received from our fathers and our fathers before us, and they in turn received it from God. And so there's this uninterrupted chain. 
For us to understand and truly comprehend who we are and what we need to do, we need to understand that we're part of that chain. And this is what this verse is telling us. The next verse, of course, is extremely significant of everything having to do with the relationship of the people of Israel, with the land of Israel, because it tells us that God already put, had in mind to give us the land of Israel. When he divided all of the world amongst the children of Adam, of the first man, at that point, he set the boundaries of nations according to the number of the children of Israel. He first knew which land he was going to set aside for the nation of Israel. And only after he had set that up, did God then assign the other countries to the other nations. And then the final verse, of course, is a very um, important spiritual concept. Uh, until now, we were talking about the physical territory, the land of Israel, as it has been set aside from the beginning of time, set aside for the nation of Israel. And this is, we're talking about when the sons of Adam were, or the sons of man were divided. This goes back to the Tower of Babel. This is even before Abraham. So in other words, what God is saying here, what Moses is saying here is even before God actually promised the land to Abraham, he had already set it aside for the children of Israel. But in verse 9, we have something uh, that, that creates a certain spiritual bond between the nation of Israel, the land of Israel, and the God of Israel. Because it turns out that it is Jacob, the people of Israel, and the land of Israel, but, but here primarily the people of Israel, which in turn is God's own portion. In the same way that God has given the land of Israel to the nation of Israel to be their portion, their land, God takes for himself the nation of Israel to be his land. And so we have this very uh, important uh, triple relationship between the God of Israel, who has taken the nation of Israel to be his portion, and who in turn is given the land of Israel as the portion of the people of Israel. And these concepts, of course, follow us to this very day. And we, as we settle here in the land of Israel, know that we are doing so as part of an unbroken chain of generations that passed this tradition and this belief and this hope to return to the land, going all the way back from Moses, who wanted to go into the land who couldn't, and who, who escorted the nation up until the entrance to the land. But already from that time and from before, there was a promise that we would come back. And so here we've come back to take our place in the land that God has set aside for the nation of Israel, the nation that he in turn has set aside as his own territory. Have a wonderful weekend. Shabbat Shalom. I hope you enjoyed that video and we'd like to be sure you're getting all of our video content. So just click on the subscribe button below as well as on the notification bell and that way you will have easy access to all our material. We look forward to staying in touch with you. God bless you and have a wonderful day.